Because I know that Dracula's expanded. You also, yeah, you also don't really want your wife ringing up while you're in there. No. Like it's not a stripper or something. You just don't want to think, hey, I'm a Dracula. <laughs> 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 Welcome along to the community notice board. Should we get rolling? All right, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Community Notice Board Podcast. And this one is another holiday special. So we're talking holiday destinations, memories, and some of the grubs you meet along the way. We're covering... You've been the, writing copy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, got a new, I've got a new job at an advertising <laughs> firm. we got a very funny guest, comedian and the co-host of Mid-Flight Brawl. we got Luke Heggie. How are you, mate? Very well, thanks. Thanks for having Great. me back. And we're here to talk about Surface Paradise, an Shit area you. that you are familiar <laughs> with. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, every Australian should be. Mm. Really, Absolutely. To be, to be you fair. have to go. Yeah. There was only one guest in mind when we were batting this idea around oh, about yeah? service paradise. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get, hey, yeah. Are there are there comedians from Gold? There are, but like, yeah, do, are they from Gold Coast? They, maybe, but I think surfers. I think is surrounding surfers. Parad- yeah, surrounding suburbs somewhere, but not surface. I don't think I've ever met someone who like grew, is from there. Yeah, yeah. it's like Vegas. Like, yeah. you just go, what the fuck? It is like <laughs> Vegas. I was thinking about like because the thing is in Australia we have pokies everywhere. Mm. So like you don't need. So it's like Vegas without gambling. You know, it's just yeah. strippers and so. And gambling is one of the more classier things about Vegas. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You take that out of the picture somehow, just you end up with Cavill yeah. Ave or whatever. You know, Cav- Cavill Ave's fucking probably more violent than any Vegas strip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh there's, yeah, there's always blood spots on those pavers. <laughs> it I've is. never walked down there and not seen a trail of fucking <laughs> <laughs> the brown spots. It'd normally be a big story, like you go down a normal main street oh. and there's blood, and you're like, holy shit! But it's like it's just everywhere. Oh, yeah. Admittedly, a puddle's. More rare, but like a, a fucking like from a stabbing or so, it's not too. Mm. It's always like punch. You know, you can tell what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And you yeah. tell what people are running too by how far. Away <laughs> 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 yeah, let's aim to do some physics. Yeah, he's got that guy just walked away <laughs> with a blood nose. I can tell. <laughs> I've seen CSI. Oh mate, I love. I fucking love surface. Man. I mean, sp- speaking of hits, we got check the video. Oh, I've yeah, got thirty seconds. Yeah. I, this we is got two th- great videos to start. I think this is, is this Sick. one yours, Drewy, or the YouTube? The YouTube one? one's mine. This is Drewy's one. Thirty um, seconds. Tell is me if you guys can hear this one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Turn it down. So for anyone listening, we got just like one of the street, street performer human statue kind of guys, and then a, and then a, just a Gold Coast hey, leave him alone, man. gremlin. Poking him, prodding his ear. He's mocking him. He's touching his hat. He looks British. <laughs> the yellow, oh, tattooed forearm. Just absolutely stirring up this statue bloke. Uh oh, finger in the ear. Wet willy. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Just absolutely clocked him. How good that was is a that? good right hand, such too. A, like. Such a great. Trick too, like yeah. no <laughs> one expects that. From a statue. Yeah, and like, what can the other guy say? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah he brought yeah. it on himself. Absolutely, Fuck, I don't think he did. All this guy thinks. I'm surprised the statue took that long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Where yeah. Willie, as soon as he's lined up the wet Willie, I'm fucking yeah, yeah, rolling. Yeah, Someone's within arm's distance of me, and they've got a fucking white collar and a purple shirt. <laughs> 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 Of course, I reckon. Deck. I reckon he was tempted way earlier. But if you watch, like the yeah, guy's behind him, he, yeah. and so he's like, "Well, if it's like a little kid messing with me, I'm not going to turn around and clock him." Yeah. As soon as he sees that collar coming out of the purple shirt, oh, fuck. Yeah, he sees a, red or yeah. purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> yeah. And if you listen, like if you watch the clip uh, and listen at the end, the audience who just uh, like a a shitload of Asian tourists and they don't know how to react. And yeah, it's that the is most so nervous good. laughter I've ever heard <laughs> in a group oh, of people. I would have loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be going up to all the British around the corner and go, see that statue guy? If you go up and you stick your finger in his ear, <laughs> yeah, see, what know, happens. see what happens. See what happens. Do you know that guy's British or just assuming? Oh, just he assume looks like, he looks just like extremely a British. He looks, yeah, 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 yeah I, I don't know why for some reason. You're right, he could have just been an Aussie. I like, think it's the shit When he did look, he looked like Barmy Army. You know, it's fucking one of just a bit of banter, mate. Just yeah, banter. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hate them. <laughs> They're just bogans with like nice haircuts, you know, like Aussie yeah. bogans. But they've always got like a proper, like not well, nice, looks like but a, a like a blow away from the eighties. Like, yeah, yeah. But know. there's something about him. I bet you he's a recruiter or something. But he was yeah, the barmy army. Exactly. Oh man, he totally deserved that. Yeah. So <laughs> fucking. Good. And he didn't even like. There's no telegraph in that punch. Like it was, yeah. it was solid. I was. God, I had a great time this Arvo when I found that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Cavill Avenue? It must so be. Is. It must be. We got yeah. um, we got one more to watch, um, and this one is uh, Jamie's one, and he found this one. So, 
<laughs> Watch this. Oh, a guy, he's fighting the cops. Bang! Oh. Oh. <laughs> a guy's body slams a cop <laughs> in the middle of. <laughs> Mate, uh, the cops are all over him. Fucking pigs. <laughs> See, that is the better clip because the clip I originally found was like a Nine News thing talking about like how disgusting it is that drunk people think they could take. So it's got the voiceover of like revelers at Cavill Avenue are out of control. Whereas this version is just someone being like, <laughs> yeah. fuck off, which yeah. is a much better clip. And it looked like it looked like the cop was fighting the guy like they'd agreed to have a fight. Yeah, they're like, like shaping yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. shadow yeah. boxing. And then because the, yeah. the, the other cops only came in when he got bodied. The cop like. didn't know it was MMA rules. That's the problem. <laughs> the cop's trying to shadow up to him. Yeah, I'm, uh, so, I'm so amazed people do. I wouldn't think to shape up to a cop. Such no. a fuck. Like the, the, it should have been tased or something. Really. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah. I don't like the pigs much, but fuck, if, <laughs> you know. Oh, <laughs> in a lot of countries, you'd be shot dead shit. for doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, totally. Just yeah, exactly. I mean, the cops an idiot for trying. To, yeah, the cops yeah, are just dumb. Him, you thought know. he could take well, him. Co- yeah, there, there, there's kind of a um, running thing of just idiot Gold Coast cops because there's a big story. One of the characters I found was this bloke Zachary Maidman, who's an ex cop now from the Gold Coast. Uh, he was a cop on um, Service Paradise. A video came out of him uh, at his birthday snorting coke off her stripper's breasts in this a hotel is, room. This is as a cop, not as an This is as a cop. Yeah, yeah. So he was at the star. And it was his, 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 Did he have his uniform on? Or did he just have seen it seen off? Yeah. 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 his badge yeah. before him. Yeah. Um, but then after that, while like on uh, parole, he's just quit the cops, or, or been booted rather, and uh, he's just started up an OnlyFans with his ex fiance who's a Playboy model. <laughs> So now he's just a porn star. <laughs> and uh, oh my, my favourite quote from her was, uh, when Zach was in the police, they controlled every aspect of his life, including what he posted to social media. That's like, oh, you're not allowed to part- post your own hardcore pornography? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty hard place to work. A lot of cop. QPS, you know. <laughs> but yeah, Jesus human resources Christ. these days. It, it, but it, I mean, that guy's got to be... You know, if he's doing that in private, like he's got to be the kind of cunt who's out, like at the bar with women, being like, "You want to see my gun?" Like he's got to yeah, be yeah, that yeah, sort of yeah, boy. Yeah. Sure. I tell you what, well, how hot would it? Yeah, how, how many people are actually like, "Oh, let's look at ex cop porn." You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to watch an ex cop get rooted. Like no one wants to <laughs> oh, see yeah. that shit. You know? Do you remember? Do you remember growing up? Like ch- children's books, like little children's book, cops are fucking awesome. Like, yeah. Looking, oh, cops are superb. And then the the time you realise when you're a teenager, <laughs> you go, "Nah, man, what's fucking happened?" I think it's yeah. <laughs> it's and got and Bash by one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think the further, if you're in the country, like country Australia sort of thing, there's like one cop in town and your yeah. parents are loving yeah, yeah, and he's yeah, the hero. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a yeah. sheriff thing. Yeah. I've discovered that from doing jokes about cops out in the country. Yeah. They fucking don't like because they're all mates with him. You forget that. Yeah, yeah. he's there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. He's, he's, he's going to yeah. look all side while they're driving <laughs> home blind drunk, you know. <laughs> but he's like, they, those guys are like, what's wrong with cops? But then in a city, there's like train stations and there's all these points where people converge where the cops will harass you and be cunts to everybody. And yeah. that's when you grow up. Hating him. So I think, yeah, the further out you are from an urban centre, you definitely, yeah, you just grow up going, oh, they're, they're great. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I, th- I, I admire old man, he hates cops. And so I just had it drilled into me from the small stage. Like, hey, we're fucking this cop. Like, just go off if you'd ever see one. Yeah. And But mum would just be like, don't tell him that. Is if cops are good. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, that was right. <laughs> Mostly fuckwits. Cops are tops. But, but what sort of cops would go, I, guess, I don't know how they're assigned, but would they say, put me on surface? Put me on the paradise. Oh, I'm gonna so I'm yeah, gonna really know. knock some sense into this. Take town. a special kind. Yeah, I, I think, think the would. young ones all end up there. Well, there's yeah, no fifty year old cops walking around at night at surf. <laughs> <laughs> you, no. you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You'd move up. That should be. A, that's a red flag straight away. If you want to be the guy who gets transferred to surf. That's paradise, what I'm saying. You know I mean, mean, being a cop and is enough. But I, mean, definitely. I, w- I just wouldn't think to walk down Cavill Avenue. There's a gig um, yeah, on there, but it's like a Wednesday night. It's not. Right. It's fine. But like, I wouldn't think to Friday, Saturday night. Midnight walk down there. No. I was always scared of it. Even as a kid, teenager, I was like, fuck, no way I'm going down there. Did mm. you go when, because you were from Brizzy, right? Mm. Originally, obviously, yeah. Yeah, so did you go down there as a, yeah, like young teen sort yeah. of thing? With yeah, mates? but we, we'd go to, you know, Burley or Chugan or somewhere cool and you'd end up at surfers. If, yeah, like yeah. schoolies, I didn't go to schoolies there, but like, you know, that sort of, it has that sort of feel to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the New Year's Eve, that sort of thing. It's just, mm. fucking, you, know, you feel like. 
you can feel it in the air. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Violence, yeah. You're going to get a punch some stage. <laughs> yeah. Broken glass everywhere. All Even that back shit, then, yeah. I bet you it would have been crazy back then. You know what I mean? Yeah, like early 90s. Yeah, it was just, oh, yeah, still pretty violent. Yeah. Mm. I would have thought more so. I don't know, like a bit more fucking Wild West. But Oh, yeah. I yeah, suppose I now so. there's more like Less stabbings. CCTV. Yeah, right, right. So, yeah, people, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of uh, romanticising like Gold Coast in the 80s and surfers especially in the 80s because yeah. now, like you said, like, you walk down Cavill Avenue and get stabbed, and so now they're just like, "Oh, we well, just used to like throw a couple punches." It used to yeah, be yeah. cool because like there was so th- there were these articles about like the eighties, and like now it's kind of regarded as like grubby and teenage. But back then it was like you know adults going to all these cool fancy clubs and stuff, and like so you'd have like G string waiters and like bikini <laughs> models, and then the, one of the things they had was they called it uh, the dwarf throwing competition. Sick. You fucking yeah, go on. <laughs> 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 Have you, did you did you Google me and find this? <laughs> hey, every time Luke Heggy controversy. <laughs> but there, so like so the dwarf throwing competition was there, but they were saying like a night out on the Gold Coast has changed drastically since the eighties. And then this the former managing editor of the Gold Coast Sun, Roger Taylor, said it was it was quite a sexual scene. And he said, you don't have the violence that's synonymous with the Gold Coast today. The hardest drug was a little bit of pot. And they said, the Gold Coast Sun regularly published photos of nightclub beauty pageants or bikini-clad women that photographers like Taylor would find at the beach and just be like, you should come and do a nightclub, pose in a bikini. And so he said, many young women were eager to be photographed. And he said, you'd never get away with printing stuff like that these days. Like, you can't just have... You know, even the sun's got rid of page three girls now, you yeah, know, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like working stuck. for the cops, eh? Yeah. They fucking post <laughs> yeah. anything. Political correct has gone mad. But then he go, he says again, he goes, it was just too sexual. So this guy is a bit odd, but he said, like, the, the Miss Nightclub beauty pageants, they were big winners for the crowd at the this place called the Penthouse, which attracted contestants from around the world competing in events like Lovely Legs and Best Bums, which mm. sounds like a pretty fun night out, I reckon. Fairly yeah. tame, all things considered. Yeah. yeah, and the Penthouse is... So this is all them just putting, like, the spin on it being much better than it is today. The Penthouse's promotions manager, Gail Chudley, said such <coughs> events were to give people a reason to be there, not just be there drinking till they're drunk. And it's like, all right, Gail, I think they're yeah. doing both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. We're, we're not looking at Best Bums. Mom's being like, oh, this is lovely, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she said, uh, she said, this is, uh, she said, I think now, today, getting politically correct, and I'm not sure, but I don't think the pageants in Australia are as popular as what they used to be. And then she goes on to say the bouncers used to take on a PR role and were different to the strictly licensed bouncers today. She said, I wouldn't call them bouncers, our doormen. There was never fighting carrying on. So she's like... Fucking essentially- bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much more violent. Yeah, I just, I'd have it. thought so. And she said, so she, she doubles down and goes, if someone had a bit too much to drink, they talked them out of things and walked oh, yeah, right. walk them out yeah. slowly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking straight backwards down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> but then the bouncers from the clubs would participate in Iron Man competitions held at the penthouse. So, like, this was what led to the infamous dwarf throwing competition. And they'd say they'd have to, like, jump a bar, pick up, like, you know, like kegs of beer, carry them across the floor, light a girl's cigarette, and then, the, and then the owner of the club, Vince Russo, said, like, this was going successful, but it was missing something, <laughs> which led them hiring this guy, this little person, Robbie Randall, to participate in the club's competition. And then it said, it just went worldwide. It was crazy, Mr. Russo said. I don't think you'd get away with that now. See all the outcry back then. It'd be a lot worse now. But then I found an article on AP News in 1985 when it says an angry crowd tried to disrupt the contest even then for being, like, terrible. Yeah. And it says that Robbie Randall... Randall wore a special harness that allowed the contestants to grab a hold of him and then toss him onto a mattress. And then he said afterwards that he'd landed safely each time and he could see nothing wrong with the contest. He said, I'll be back again next week and any time they want me. That was fun and it didn't hurt a bit. So then this other promoter said the contest was a great success and the audience was delighted. And then she called him We Robbie Randall and said he was fantastic. He found people were laughing with him, not at him. Which is, <laughs> yeah, this is a great PR well, um, spin the whole way through. <laughs> yeah. 
And then uh, so Randall, a computer operator, is also a part-time entertainer who has played the roles of grumpy, bashful, and dopey in, s- <laughs> in stage productions of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. One day I'll be sleepy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Paul Keller was declared the winner Tuesday in what was described as an r- initial round. Keller threw Randall about three yards, which isn't that it's far, nothing, no, right? That's no, uh, and then so it just goes on and says like that it was part of that, but um, the immediately protesters like went to the government and tried to ban it. Yeah. And then one bloke in 2011 tried to bring it back. He went on Gumtree and posted. <laughs> <laughs> That's step one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He went on Gumtree. <laughs> Midget, throwable size only. <laughs> and he po- harness. <laughs> yeah, he posted an ad looking for a vertically challenged athlete for New Year's oh Eve festive celebrations. God. And he said it was a serious offer, but as yet there were no takers. He said, we had one person offering us a troll to throw, but that's not what we were looking for, said Steve, who did not want his surname used. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> and uh, he never got that person. But the reason I bring up that 2011 article is because everyone's like, oh, it's more politically correct now. We don't do the dwarf tossing. We say little people instead. But guess what the picture accompanying this article was? You better believe it was all seven dwarves from Snow White. <laughs> oh, and this is in, like, the Gold Coast Sun main newspaper just depicted, yeah. like, we're like, all right, we need an article about little people. Let's get the Snow White and Seven Dwarves cartoons <laughs> in there. My, um, my dad was a dwarf thrower. Oh, really? Mm. What? Fuck. I mean, it wasn't his job. <laughs> <laughs> you do it he more did, than once. Or he didn't go pro. Yeah. <laughs> so He'd moved up to Brisbane, dwarf throwing, and this was around that time, sort of 83, 84, and uh, there's a dwarf throwing competition at Caxton Hotel, famous pub in Brisbane near near Lang Park there. Yeah. And um, one day I went into school and my teacher said, oh, Heggie, stand up, tell us what your dad was doing on television last night. And I went, oh, fuck. Because it was, you know, at the end of the news, they showed like a dog on a <laughs> surfboard or something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Queensland that time, they throwing, you know, throwing dwarves and stuff. <laughs> And he was just drinking football. beer with his mates at the CACs and went, yeah, I'll have a go, and just started chucking dwarves. Oh, oh my God. God. And and so you had, had, a few, saw had a few different events. They had, like, the harness one, yeah. throw as far as you can. There's no way it's three yards. It's best to say fucking 30. Yeah. Like, and you'd have one where there's, like, a wall that's fluffy wall and they'd have a Velcro suit and you throw yours <laughs> as high as you can <laughs> and it all just onto the wall. Uh-huh. And it'd be three, oh, yeah, it'd yeah, be three yeah. or four at different things. Oh, that's the highest one you win. Oh, like darts or something? You're going to be fucking, you know, 180? And another one, they had a skateboard that they'd – Tape on them and, and buy like 10 pin. Oh, right, buy. right, right, right. Oh, my God. So it sounds oh, so. Yes. Was your teacher at, like trying to st- trying to show you up, or the teacher thought it was hilarious? Yeah, both. I mean, it's Catholic schooling. There's, a bit of, there's always something yeah, there. There's always <laughs> shaming kids. But no, he thought it was quite funny. So, how old oh, were you when you were being told to stand up in front of the. Like club nine. nine. <laughs> and just be like, yeah, my dad throws dwarves. Yeah. That's unreal. <laughs> That's so how funny. did the kids react to it? Oh, I can't remember. I, th- I think they were just like, what the fuck? No, like, no one could really, yeah. <laughs> it didn't really fathom with other nine-year-olds what's going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Just the teacher and me. So, yeah. That's unreal, man. A, that was that was in Brizzy in the 80s, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different times. But there's, different times. There is, and there's a great Facebook group. I was just telling these guys before. There's a great Facebook group called, like, Gold Coast Memories, and it's just oh, all people. It. Oh, I'm I'm yeah, oh it's yeah. wonderful. Because it's just all people who are like, uh, in 1985, I won best bum, and now I'm married, and it's good to have yeah. this photo of me it's when fantastic. I had a nice bum. And, and then it's like all the old guys being like, I was there and can confirm you had a very lovely bum. <laughs> like, really this, yeah, this relic frozen in time. They're all just talking about yeah. like old ladies' bums and stuff. Yeah, I mean, Grundy's was on it the other day. Remember Grundy? I don't know. Do you remember Grundy's? At, no. at, um, do you ever get in? What's Grundy's? It was like, a, it was like an amusement park sort of thing, uh, but a shit one. Yeah, yeah. And they had... Um, and water slides, but they're right on the beach. Yeah, like, oh, it was wow. everyone like the the old guard thought it was an eyesore. Yeah, the youth thought it was fucking fantastic, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was. It was brilliant. That's great. Water slides right pretty much on the beach. Mm. Oh, beach. that's the dream. Right. Yeah, that yeah, does yeah. rule. I got oh. a um, I got a story about a guy, uh, a local character because I love um. I love dumb criminals. That's my favourite thing. Not to Gable find. Toasty, is it? What's that? No, no. no. <laughs> yeah, we can get to him. <laughs> Hopefully, a little more humour involved. Then. <laughs> <laughs> he did a bit of tossing. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Toss off the balcony. <laughs> Fucking Gable Toasty. Fuck no. No, this is a different gentleman uh, surface, but uh, I love him because uh, a couple of things when you look for dumb criminals. One, like. One of my favourites is first of all, this is set in a seafood restaurant, which already makes me laugh. Right, I'm already Incredible. I'm already locked in, <laughs> and then the character involved is 
my favourite description, an aspiring rapper. So <laughs> yeah. you're in, right? Yeah, two from exactly. Two. That's so a real Adelaide thing, aspiring rapper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, they, they do. They love the yeah. the, the, the hilltop hoods guys, you know. But this is uh, this is a, he's a surfer's local, or at least um, Main Beach or something. Terry Peck, Terry Peck, aka. Ready? Yeah. Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How good's oh, that? Christ. Tupac, aspiring rapper. Um, this is Omaros Brothers Seafood Restaurant. Aspiring rapper eats $600 worth of lobster before jumping into the ocean without paying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I know it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was. Like, I remember this. Yeah. Superb. So this you got like a Google alert. So <laughs> no, no, I, I, I remember this. Keywords. Yeah. Lobster. But, so, um, <laughs> so Terry Peck. It's a uh, Sunday afternoon, one o'clock. He turns up by himself at this as pretty high class seafood restaurant, um, and he just starts ordering. Okay. Man, what there's your foot like table for one and he's in his speedos. <laughs> <laughs> like, table for one near the water, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <fuck man. laughs> I've got my mixtape here, by the way. If you want to put it on the PA. Um, so, so I'll go through the bill for you guys. Right. Um, so he starts off. Uh, well, he he has uh, uh, four Coronas over the course of the meal. Not too yeah, bad, right? Yeah, it's all right. So four Coronas. It's a episode of this podcast. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's like, oh, he had to drive, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> And then he also gets a bit of baby octopus. Um, and then he has half a dozen oysters. Then he starts to turn it up a little gear. Two whole lobsters. Yeah. So that's 400 bucks of the 600. Fuck. And then he goes, Fucking you know what? Is that, lobster was 200 bucks. Uh, yeah, 200 bucks <sighs> each. Cooked that's lobster. Insane. At this thing. And then he got pe- peppered through the meal, I assume, when he was sick of Corona. He decided to have 21 oyster vodka shooters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so What's an oyster vodka shooter? This is a shot of vodka and oyster. Yeah. Oh, right. Just mm. out of the shell. Yeah. Yeah. While you so, slurp it with yeah. the oyster. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, no, it doesn't go into a shot glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think oh. it's oyster so in a shot glass. With right. vodka. Right. Okay. Oh, that sounds disgusting. So it does sound bad. Yeah. 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 So all he's drinking. So he has 21 shots. I, I don't know if they're full shots. And maybe they're half shots. But at the very least, he's had four beers. And at the very least... 10 or 11 shots of vodka, mm-hmm. and he's racked up $621 bill. Um, he <laughs> they then t- they, at f- he was there for till he was there for three hours, right? <laughs> so he's just sitting there gorging himself. More, more oyster shots come on, and then they come and bring him the bill. And uh, he does a runner uh, when he sees the number at the end. As he's leaving, he also steals a six, another six pack of Corona. <laughs> so this guy, he, he's in for a penny, he's in for a pound, you know. He's like, I'm as well. Yeah, he would have to go behind the bar to yeah, get yeah, that Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's not on the bill because he nicked it. Uh, but he got six pack of Corona and then he ran. Uh, and then basically uh, he, he said, uh, sorry, I forgot the rest of it here. So he then ran into the water. Uh, he wouldn't. Um, he wouldn't come out of the water. That two cops on jet skis had to draw, <laughs> go into the water. He then tried already to, great sentence. Yeah, two cops on jet skis. Two, two police on jet skis, like water rats, Gold Coast edition. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Which is, I'd love to see that. Uh, he he goes. Out, he's trying to duck under. The, he's trying to swim under the water when they come by, so they can't. And they're just sitting there waiting for him to come like, up. Okay, so like you know James I mean? Bond. He's yeah, trying James to, Bond. Yeah. He's trying to hide. He's underwater I mean, drinking the beer. He um, <laughs> he. Then eventually, like as a whole police operation, they eventually get him out. He just thinks if I'm out in international waters, I can't get done. So that's he just won't come in for like two and a half hours. <laughs> eventually, he's nearly exhausted, and they they drag him in, guts full of seafood, you know. And then um, they bring him back to shore. He gets taken to court the next day. He's uh, what he says is his excuse. He, he only left the he only left the restaurant. Um, he was gonna pay, but he. Um, <laughs> His friend called him, and she was on the beach giving birth. <laughs> so he had to go help her. Oh, man. That's what he's saying in so court. So that's probably what the corona was for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's got to get a six-pack. Oh, so he's like, she just called me, and she was in labor. I had to go help her out. I couldn't find her. Um, and then I was looking for my wallet to go back and pay, and then so they arrested she me. I looked for my wallet in the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out. yeah. So Mr. Peck, uh, he also said, um, uh, he also said he may not care for another feed, he said um, the lobster mornays were overcooked. Oh. <laughs> he said there was oyster shell in the oyster shot as well. And the waiter said he was going to take it off the bill. They should be apologising to me. <laughs> 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 and he complained that the food was overpriced. <laughs> Mr. Peck has been relatively prolific in rapping. And I love when the articles, they, they want to just call him a complete loser, but they can't. So they just... 
just give him enough yeah, rope to hang himself yeah. with. So they start quoting his rap songs, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> he's released 44 songs online, oh, including man. his most played tracks, Don't Stop Loving Me, like sick, like as in like it's spelt wrong. I love this game. Uh, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. <laughs> and <laughs> you're so beautiful to me, you're spelt Y O U R. Like, you <laughs> spelt your wrong. And then it says at the end, this is my favorite line. Um, he, he, he apparently he got excited when he found out he was going to be on the news to the um, journalist. And he yeah. said, This is great. I'm going to be on the news. Yeah. He says, Because I'm trying to rap battle Eminem at the moment, <laughs> but he won't come down to Australia to have a go. <laughs> <laughs> so, this guy, so Terry thinks it's a bit of a career boost for oh, yeah. Terry thinks the only uh, reason he won't rap battle Eminem is because Eminem won't go to Surfers Paradise. Yeah. 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 Eminem's gone down a bit, in my yeah. opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking coward. <laughs> face, face two peck. Oh, yeah. We're going to so find his version of Aussie, 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 Oi, 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 to take this episode out. Yeah, I might have to pull that off. I didn't. Uh, We're gonna tag Eminem in the stuff and be like, "Come on, take on Tupac." You coward! Oh, Reshare it on Insta, M. But uh, I love man because I think that's. I don't know if he's a. I don't think he's a cashed up bogan. I think he's a bit of a like complete like Looney Tune. But yeah. but it's still like I think the, the fact that they let him sit down and order six hundred dollars before they considered it a problem yeah. shows how the other patrons there are like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They yeah. probably get twenty oh. blokes like that in a day. Who Anyone would, dining on their own. More than half an hour and more than hundred bucks, something sus. Yeah, like, there's no yeah. fucking way. No, they're enjoying joining two lobsters. I've always been obsessed with people like jumping in the water to escape. <laughs> <laughs> it's a few notable, it's a great famous movie. people have done it. Ben, ben Cousins did it, and um, Julian O'Neill. They both done it. Julian O'Neill was. What were they escaping? Yeah, I know that. Julian O'Neill uh, set fire to a boy oh, in yeah. um, Port Macquarie. <laughs> I remember that. Who was in like a mascot penguin yeah, suit? So he set fire to a boy. You know, Dropped all his clothes down to his undies, swam across the river <laughs> and hitchhiked his way out of trouble. <laughs> Someone picked him up. Starkers. In his wet undies. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. Undies. And um, Cousins was a drink driving or drug driving thing, I think, in Perth. Right. Just jumped in the swan as soon as he got pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> Just ran over and swam off. It is great. <laughs> it works. I think it's, it works in video games, you know. Like, I yeah. think that's what people think of like, yeah. and stuff, you know. It's like, also, I think the second or third mention of a criminal on this podcast whose solution to, like, not get caught is to hide until it goes away. Because we had one in Adelaide or something who hid in a dumpster and the cops were like, we know you're in there. And he's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Just, <laughs> like, waiting. So good. I love Julian O'Neill because he, he also got – he had a – a little storied career. He also, we talked about him. Um, I think we talked about him on another on the episode where he shat in. Uh, oh, the Central Coast. Oh, well, yeah. Shat in sl- Schlossy's shoe. Shat in Schlossy's shoe. I don't know how he said that. Man, yeah. Blind drunk, which he must have been. Yeah. Uh, and then he also, um, a- in the Gold Coast, um, got caught pissing under the blackjack table at Jupiter's. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> so he's doing the full spectrum of stuff. He's like. A friend of mine used to work in hotels that, when pokies were in their fucking heyday before mm. they've. You know, for their ruined families, which is good, clean fun. <laughs> um, Not fruit machines. Yeah. He was out at somewhere like Penrith World of Entertainment. He said, "There's so many pokies, and and it was such a problem that they had to back when there was coins. Like you'd have a big gulp size fucking thing full yeah. of coins, mm-hmm. and they had to drill holes in the bottom so people wouldn't sit there and piss in the <laughs> bucket because <laughs> yeah. they get a spare bucket and just piss in it because they don't want to leave the machine." That's to unbelievable. Put holes in it to discourage that. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work with, I uh, know, not work. I used to play footy with a bunch of blokes, and they were all just um, half of the team were um, tradies. They're all plumbers, and they all knew each other. And one of them was just so addicted to pokies. Um, he would just he he lived in his his parents like moved out, and him and his brother lived in the family house for free when he was like twenty eight or something. So he had to pay no rent, and he got paid what a, you know whatever a grand a week or whatever. A plumber would get at that age, sort of thing, and so it was a thousand bucks down the to the pokey. Like yeah, he just yeah. he, uh, and he Playing would go like four machines at once. He would kind of he thing. would not only do that, he figured out a way at these machines where you get a beer coaster and he'd wedge it oh, under yeah. the button <laughs> and he'd sit there and it'd be like he had like a team in a call center because he'd be <laughs> yeah, sitting yeah. there just watching all the screens, <laughs> not pressing buttons. Just he'd have about three or four going, and I'd you go in and then he'd go. I'm going to take a piss and he would go and it'd still be going and he'd just go stand here so no one comes and like takes it. Fucking hell. So I'd stand in there and just watch oh. and he'd just lose. He'd put in like 500 bucks each one or whatever. Um, just unreal. Mm. Yeah. That is a, yeah, that's fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Um, oh, there was a, there was a story as well. Just, uh, I think it was like the local, um, he, he was a member of the liberal national party. I think he's opposition, like health spokesman or whatever. And he was a, um, he was in parliament, Gold Coast parliament 
and did drop one of these classics, which I, I hadn't seen the, the combo before. Some woman, I think from his own party, was speaking, and he evidently didn't like what she was saying. And so behind her, there's great footage of it. He just turns to someone off camera and then goes... <laughs> 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 so he goes for the jerk off motion But then does the head Like you're a dickhead, the dickhead which I, You're I, a yeah. jerk and off And you're a dickhead yeah, And you're a dickhead Which I hadn't seen the combo but it That was, one's good That I is masterful that. It's too close to I'm sucking I guess, <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta know. be careful But man So he did that in parliament <laughs> Yeah 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 man, like, Gold what? Coast like the, Is that state parliament? I, I, I swear all so. our yeah. crazy politicians Are local Brisbane yeah. area Queensland's got some classic politicians Yeah Like the backbench Antics, you know, federal level, fucking mad. Yeah. If they're not asleep, they're yelling. I don't know what they do at lunchtime. <laughs> it's it's so yeah, sitting of, parliament's pretty funny. A lot of yeah. aggressively red faces up yeah. there, just fucking. I was alarmed. Well, I was fucking really surprised to find out Barnaby wasn't. Uh, it's Tamworth. Mm, Tamworth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just thought. I just assumed Queensland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about a video. When I first saw him pop up like ten years ago, I thought, hey, of fucking Queensland. Yeah, for that's sure. the border. I love those guys. <laughs> yeah, and they just like who was the guy from Midlands? The um, Andrew Lamming. Like, Lamming. He's oh, a, yeah. he's an absolute. But they they're just local fucking absolute goose just gronks who just who oh, just yeah. somehow collect. Because they're a bit charming in a weird way. They get the local people go, this guy's great. And then they just, they, they're on the national stage for six or seven years, just being yeah. absolute imbeciles. I just, I love it. I, it's pretty I mad. It, yeah, yeah, um, we need more of them. And we personally do oh, for this pod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to run out of it. Every state just <laughs> wash it with nice. Queensland members. I mean, more. pretty much all podcasts that commentate anything about Australia would be gone in 20 years. It's Larrikinism's on the wane. Too much. Too much. We're yeah. going to be like, We're back. still talking about fucking old, you know, <laughs> we're talking about Gable Toasty and fucking this dude. But that's 10 odd years ago. Yeah, There's nothing yeah, nothing true. new that's like, oh, fuck it. You're right. And that's why I think about the midget, the guy's like, you couldn't get away with that in those days. And I was like, there's so many more tamer things you couldn't get away with than midget tossing yeah, these yeah, days. Yeah. Like, yeah. midget tossing, if, if, if you fucking did a fucking cartoon of it, you'd be in trouble, let alone actually held an event. So, <laughs> yeah. like, it's not going to happen, you know? Um, but it's also weird that you'd be like, oh, man, these days you wouldn't be able to get away with that. But then, like, this ex-cop is just making hardcore porn. And yeah, there know? is that. It's but like that, that's your own agent, yeah. I mean, he's not having sex with a midget under no, duress. Not yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, there's also the element of, like, the virtual world doesn't feel like it's as... It's, it's not as... You know, yeah. You're not a character. You just yeah, do it yeah, online. Yeah, fucking yeah, grow up. Yeah. Don't do it out in public. See how you go. <laughs> well, that's what they used to. Yeah. Well, men, more men. They'd fucking do it on the beach. Yeah. Uh, the surface. Well, I do have some... Uh, uh, it is also quite a... A seedy place, I guess. I do have some um, strip club reviews uh, and <laughs> nightclub reviews. Hooters is shut down, you know, up there. Is that so? It's gone. Is, so is Hooters? Uh, it's just a restaurant. It's not a strip club. I know what it is in yeah. America, but it's the same thing. Same here, thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not. You're talking strippers. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was talking, you know, wait, waitresses. Wait, waitresses. <laughs> instead, there, it is the blurred it. line though between because I think you sort of graduate up from nightclub to yeah the Hooters and then the strip and then. I the went brothel. to Hooters as a kid. Like, I never we just I went d- there for dinner. Wow. Was, yeah. <laughs> Your parents took my, you. My there. mom took me. <laughs> Dad was not in the picture. Mom was just like, look, it's Your the closest like, restaurant. Oh, it's like an owl themed restaurant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like owls. <laughs> <laughs> you like Harry Potter? It's like Hedwig. Come on, Julie. I think was, like, we were just staying next door. It was the closest option. So she like, mustn't have known what it was. I, I don't know. I have to ask. Oh, so I mean, it was, she must have. It was like Hooters is a pretty famous, like Not worldwide f- chain. Man, I it's guess, amazing right? what mothers don't know. Though, oh, look, like, like, you know, you're, you're like, how do you not know this mother? Like your mum, like yeah, a fifty year old woman. You're, obviously, she's been busy raising children. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she's <laughs> fucking paying attention to what's going she's on. She's been watching American sitcoms fault. and yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Probably, yeah, she she didn't get introduced to it from Big Daddy. Yeah. I, I got we went. I went to a Hooters once in San Diego, and we were so excited because we we're like, "This is kitschy. It's just like a fun thing to do for a night out." Yeah, like, that's why you're excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you know, we kitschy. were also there to decry the objectification of the staff, but yeah. uh, no, we were just there. And, like, <laughs> it's like. She, like the server came around and we were like, oh, we'd love some wings. And she was like, oh, we need to check your IDs. And she didn't take our driver's license. She wanted us to get passports. And she was like, where are you standing? We're like, just over there. And she's like, go get your passports. Come back. We're like, we're not. We're not coming back to Hooters. We're not going <laughs> to get our passport <laughs> and bring them out for a <laughs> night just so like we can be like, yeah, we went out Fucking and had wings. Hell. Like we, we just didn't go. I did a gig in a Hooters. Oh really? Oh. It was terrible. One of the Jesus. worst ever. How did it have? It, was, a it wasn't on the main floor where everyone's 
heat and wings and yeah, shit. Yeah, right. It was upstairs, but it was still a hurt. It was still yeah, fun. Right. Yeah. So it was a Terrible. Like, ticket at like everyone had to pay to see comedy. Because I was just thinking. They didn't pay to see me, definitely, but they paid <laughs> to see comedy. Yeah, it was yeah. in LA. <laughs> oh, And it was right. fucking grim. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> bad time. Very <laughs> bad time. That's terrible. Because I was, yeah, normally the worst thing in comedy is when you're putting on a show where people don't know there's comedy oh, and yeah, you're interrupting no. something that they do enjoy. So if you're just no. like, all, right, all the all the waitresses have to sit down now for the comedy, so, you know what I mean? Like that's, yeah. that's, that's have to put loose work. jumpers on. Yeah, yeah. Comedy, so <laughs> not I leave it here. So was, LA, was there like a stage for it though? Mm. Yeah, it's, it's like a regular night. Evidently, yeah. but yeah, it was terrible. Because I did one in like in the Hills District, like a, it was like a restaurant bar. And when I got there, like they'd advertise that it was a comedy night, but it was also still open for business as a restaurant. Mm. And when I got there, the stage was just the staircase that goes between the first and second floor where both floors of people are eating. So you'd be on there with a wireless mic that didn't work while food runners were coming up and they taking stuff. Oh, there. man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you better believe I didn't do very well that Both. night. <laughs> and I, I think it's safe for me to say I ran out as soon as I left. I'm going to go out on a limb and say no one did that well that night. Yeah, no, fuck Could they think of a worse spot? Yeah. Have, fuck Have you had any horror gigs in surfers, like the just the grub crowd? Um, on the only gig on Ozzy Avenue, I think, is, yeah. it, is there another one? There was a Main Beach one, but they were Main Beach, funnily enough, Main Beach is more your fucking property developer types. It's real close, but it's yeah. like, mm. how the fuck has this happened? It'd be yeah. Like it's all Queensland posh, there. if you know what I mean. Yeah, like, not, yeah, not yeah, pop yeah. by any fucking not stretch. It's land. embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queensland, yeah. like, it just means you wear white linen or something. You're yeah, still yeah. <laughs> like a pink polish. Sort of yeah. rub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah They're yeah. worse, in fact. Yeah. So not as out in the open. I like, yeah, the Avenue had a... It was always okay. Yeah, it's all right. It. it was all right. It, it looked a bit brutal. Like, it looked like a cage. So it was a bit Blues Brothers fucking smash, yeah. smash bottles against the cage look about yeah. it. Yeah, it looked Long like it button. could go. Like, I think you're right. It's a Wednesday night. I don't know mm. if it's still running, but it was – like, if that was a Friday night, it would have been chaos or something because it was oh, a Wednesday. Because yeah, I think yeah. it was free entry or maybe booked. But One night free. there, I had a mate come, and we stayed back and closed it. Like, I stayed till literally 4 a.m. on a fucking Wednesday night. It's like, they just, I couldn't believe they weren't shutting. I kind of just wanted to <laughs> see how long it was going to take them to yeah. shut. I just stayed. Like, oh I haven't done that for a long time. But, yeah, I did it there. It was crazy. Yeah. Uh, that, there is a weird vibe, even in the midweek there, that ca- Kavalav. But um, I... Well, actually, I, fucking, I was walking past the avenue recently. I was, I was up there, like, mid-December, like, 20th around then for a gig. At uh, Gold Coast, and I was walking down the street with my brother and my nephew, and we were the only three on the whole Gold Coast with masks on, mm-hmm. and literally got called poofters from the <laughs> from the balcony of either the Avenue or one of those other bars <laughs> along that street. <laughs> That's right not there. real poofters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they're in the venue. So yeah, yeah, in the venue, just back. just yelling poofters. And you said all American spirits dying. <laughs> 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 it's, a, it's alive and well. <laughs> It's probably the fucking mayor of Gold Coast or something out there. Yeah. Chamber of Commerce meeting at the Avenue. Look at these poofters. <laughs> I, um, I do have some – and I love – because anytime you have a rough area or whatever, like King's Cross, there's always reviews of people. The security guard were mean to me. Da, 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 da. Mm. And that happens a lot. And uh, a lot of the time then the venue will respond. And they're normally pretty formal responding. Hey, have you got any more information, send it to us. But I love in these because – some of those are uh, they respond, yeah, and then some they don't, and there's and it's almost like when they're just, you know, basically admitting that that actually happened. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Because uh, so there's just like all these ones. Apparently, th- this guy one star. Apparently, they like glassing their patrons. <laughs> <laughs> no response. You know, um, you know. Yeah, we don't have anything. Don't have anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, guy. Enough. This guy was like, I was on my honeymoon when a bouncer broke my wrist. <laughs> He fucking uploads a fucking x-ray photo <laughs> and everything. He's literally got a crack in the x-ray. Apparently he was accused of dancing without any altercation or prior warning about to twist my arm behind my back and, and, and snap my wrist. <laughs> Which I love. Was and this during lock, like, accused of dancing? dancing. You're not like, allowed to dance. You're not yeah, 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 sorry, you're right, a year ago. Man, so. when I got t- called a poofed up, they were literally three hours away from the mandatory mask thing. It was like 9 p.m. Midnight <laughs> that night, everyone's got to have a mask. <laughs> <laughs> and I got called a poof to Look at poof jumping the gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even wait till the fucking last second. Uh, um, I love, I mean, th- this one's just, I love this one because Jack gives it a one star saying, Bald Secchi was on Coke. And I'm like, Jack, if you don't like bald security guards who are on Coke, don't go to the Gold Coast. You know what I mean? like, you're not going to enjoy it. 
it's actually, not for you, man. It's not for you, dude. And uh, Jason gives this place, um, I can't remember, I think it was the Retro or something. He's like, this place probably deserves one star. He gives it three stars. It's out of trash, fairly run down. But they usually do a jug for $10 and, you, and almost always see a fight. The bouncers aren't the best first responders. They've been known to cause more harm than good. The only real reason I'm floating these guys a three star is I've picked up a fair few times in the smoking area. Although, I've also been king hit twice in that area. <laughs> so, as I said, kind of up and down place. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good three-star review. Yeah. Like, most, like a three-star is almost pointless to yeah. get on there. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like, what do you... like? Yeah. Why? I, I understand that three-star. Yeah, because yeah, sure. it's like, just leave... Just don't Go comment. So I say that's well-written. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've done a proper SWOT analysis. <laughs> <laughs> In conclusion, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I really like that one from Jason. Um, oh, yeah, and then, um, I do have a couple from the Rippers themselves. Uh, if I can find it, <laughs> first here. strip club I went to was in Surfers Paradise. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, how'd you go? Uh, I, I think we we had a good time there because we had a mate who, like, I can imagine was, just the guy yeah. at the front door just rubbing his hands, <laughs> going, look at this yeah. pigeon. Really. Well, I mean, like, it was schoolies week, so yeah. like, those strip clubs must have been fucking making bank because, like, everyone was like packed with some of the regular people at the front who looked very sad, and then, like, towards the back, like, a hundred 18 year olds being like, oh, baby, yeah, you know? oh man. Um, we had a guy with us who was quite shy, so like, our friends kept like buying personal dances for him just to embarrass him, you know. <laughs> that kind of vibe where they like, give him Classic another one. Okay, yeah. I, re I reckon you're a bit of a talk the stripper out of the life kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> you take it yeah. aside. Yeah, you, I you can see from all of this. I'm one of those guys who gets a body shot and is like, I reckon she likes me. Exactly. I can change her. Yeah, I man, it's so funny the difference in you. Because I got this one from Jacob. Um Three years ago, he, he re five star review for the strip club, and um, <laughs> great star. <laughs> but I love it. I love it because it goes. Um, See you in November next year for schoolies. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so Jacob's, Man, Jacob's 45 years old. No, I reckon he's 17 at yeah. home researching strip clubs. Yeah, he's and he's given it a five-star review before it. And oh. the owner's like, thanks, Jacob. Little kissy thing to Jacob. Jacob's right. like, I'm already in, you know. <laughs> so I just love the idea of like 17, 16-year-old kids. I think we probably all would have thought like strip clubs are this magical place. And you would probably, you know, when you go there, you're like, this is oh, you yeah. thought it was so cool. Thing. And then it just couldn't be. It's such a what a world to live in that people are giving a review or just commenting on pervert stuff on the yeah. internet. Like, what are you name to that. You know, yeah. like, this, is, this is me. This is my email. I'm going to fucking say I was there definitely. <laughs> so some of them. I wish I kept this one. That this guy. It was almost too sad. But he was like, "Listen, I've been coming here for eight years. Full oh, name. Fuck. Um, it's great. The girls are lovely." And and he's going on. And he's like, he said something like. Sometimes it's like I've known some of these girls for years. I was like, yeah, you just said you've been there for eight <laughs> years, dude. Aww. And he's sort of saying the girls are great. They're really respectful. I'm like, oof, you know. But uh, this is a weird one because I found this a bunch on some of the reviews is a lot of partners, as in I assume women because they've got pretty feminine names, are partners of men who go to the strip club with their husband as a night out. Which Right, you know, yeah. yeah. Like, what a mad concept. I mean, yeah, like, that's isn't that's that's changed I didn't know because it was so common that I was like, is this a normal? Is this a yeah, thing that everyone knows be. about? But a lot, lot of them, a lot were, of them um, popping up on 15 February, just with great Valentine's last night. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but Carla is writing. Um, so it might be a, a you know a lesbian relationship. So she doesn't say, but she says a partner or she says fiance. But Carla's obviously a woman. She says Shaquilla was extremely disrespectful towards me, and it was clear her only intentions were with my fiance. I am traumatized by this experience and will never step foot in a place like this again. She has ruined a relationship <laughs> and <laughs> probably has no regard for relationships or families. Do not go near her if you want to keep a relationship. <laughs> so Carla, oh, my God. I'm like, what did you think was going to happen? You know? So, oh. And poor Shaquille probably did nothing no, as well. Of she just not. did just her to Just yeah. with the guy. Yeah. She probably thought that's what they're bringing your husband there for, you know? But there was all sorts of people like, and they were normally in pretty normal reviews. It was just a wife going, when he with my hubby, had a great night. The girls are great. I'm like, is it supposed to be like a... Drew's mum's on there. Went with the kids. <laughs> 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 it was really nice. Everyone was lovely. Uh, oh, yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe someone can, who's listening can tell us. There must be some... Maybe it's bisexual threesome fantasy well, thing. Well, that's what I was going to say. Is it like a, me and my husband saw you across the room and we like your vibe? Yeah, it must be that. But they don't allude. I think it's a, obviously a bit of cosplay style. They're not trying to pick up, but yeah. 
But um, some people just don't get what strip clubs are. Jill writes, everyone was so rude. Not sure why they work in a place like this if they don't like dealing with people. We came in a large group and half our party weren't even drinking, so we definitely weren't being a problem. <laughs> I was yeah. like, yeah, you weren't being a problem, <laughs> yeah. Jill. You're not yeah. buying any drinks. I mean, like, you see the bartender is like, oh, another soda water, Jill? Okay, yeah. fuck off, bitch. Do Australia, know? like, a, a, there must be some award system here because we get treated better as employees, but they wouldn't get paid much, would they? They're no, working on tips I, and shit. And I wouldn't be surprised if they figured out a way to avoid this the strip club. There'd be independent contractors. There'd mm. be some... Horrible. Uber strip. Sounds like Uber. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it did Uber. Well, maybe there will be. Well, that's nice what I mean. Well. Like same model, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so they, you don't have like you can't take sick leave. No, I don't think so. No, no I don't think. I think that. I think it would be like because it'd be whatever the most loaded commission award agreement would be. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've got yeah, to get yeah. all the tips and the dancers and stuff. But um, yeah, and a lot of. I mean, Brandon, one star, nasty. N- sorry. Nazi Germany? I think so. <laughs> like, that's Good a big call, Brandon. Yeah, so he's just like, come on, dude. That's it. Yeah, that's it. One star. He's oh. just really <laughs> upset about the rules. I want to know the backstory of that. Yeah, yeah I'd love to know that. But then, um, yeah, so I, I had a bunch more, but there was just, it was very strange because a lot of them were just positive or just very, like, meagerly critical, just overly analysing, yeah. like, Three, four stars. They're the best. Just Are these Google reviews? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full first and last name. No, no real clear <laughs> intent to hide who they are. Yeah. I've been going here for five years and I got a discount voucher and they wouldn't honour it. I was like, mate, just <laughs> oh, I've say you went in for a box. You know? yeah. <laughs> I've seen the odd business on Google review that do respond. And they just some of them are great. Like some of them are really nice and that like, oh sorry you had a bad time, you know, call us up, we'll fucking sort it. Whatever. But they get sick of that. Yeah. And eventually you go far enough down, if the business has been around long enough, they'll be go, Well, that's because you're a fuckhead out <laughs> <laughs> And honestly that is way better. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. Because you just when, especially when you do research this pod, you just see the amount of people who complain. And it's always like the one stars are always the it's always like I asked for prawn marinara oh, yeah. and I've got fucking prawn. I go marinara. straight. I look them up a bit. <laughs> I, I go straight to the ones. Like it's yeah. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah, three is usually the one you scroll through, and we would have missed that belter. From yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, you got to well there because there are fuck all threes. Yeah, yeah. Like it's three's not a three. Yeah. It's they're not normally a three they're normally way more interesting. I had some people. The, this is the saddest. I wish I had it printed out, but um, it was a brothel nearby. I can't remember the name of it, but someone had commented. Um, you know, I gave him 300 bucks and they said it's 50 more and it's supposed to be 200. And his name was like John Smith or whatever. And then someone else commented, I've been going here for five years and they're a really respectful place. And John Smith below, he's wrong. And so this guy's defending the brothel <laughs> as a patron. <laughs> and I'm rocks. like, you are the cu- most cucked human on earth <laughs> if you're like going in a bat for the brothel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and last one I got because uh, I just caught this one, but it's not a strip club. It's not a. It's not a nightclub. It's Ripley's. Believe it or not, oh, did you ever go to Ripley's? No, but I know. I know no, the joint. I, yeah, I remember my dad I loved, it. I mean, I loved it when I was a kid. You loved it. Oh, when I was a kid. Loved the show. It. You yeah, mean, I loved the show you? and the spot. Oh, oh really? What's the show? Like that. Is it in Vegas? It was uh, Dean yeah, Kane hosted Dean it. Kane. Superman. And oh. man, there was one well before that. It was like a oh, fucking really? proper, like early eighties Ripley's. Oh, you were talking about TV show. I was talking about yeah, the yeah, the right. TV no, that's one. a fucking remake. The, there was yeah, one before. Yeah. That. I can't. I don't can't remember who hosted it. Right. Yeah, it was Ripley's same thing. Exactly I never saw the Dean Kane one, <laughs> but yeah, um, right. yeah, I remember going to that Ripley's, believe it or not. And um, I think the only thing I remember from it now is that there was a th- stupid thing where, like, within the first five minutes, there's a mirror and it says only X amount of people have the gene that allows you to roll your tongue. So everyone's in the mirror trying to see if they can do it. And then you get around to the other side. And it's like a two-way mirror. So everyone's just laughing at the idiots in, in the <laughs> yeah. mirror. It's just, just a sign that says poofed. <laughs> 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 I'm, with a, I'm with this poof. <laughs> T-shirts at the checkout. Yeah. That would be a top seller. <laughs> I feel like every resort tourist destination town either has a Ripley's or some variation of like what they call like a torture museum where it's like yeah. we show you what torture used to look like in the middle ages and you're like oh this will be a good seven bucks and it takes like 20 minutes to walk through and it's just like a bunch of wax figures with like clamps on their nipples and stuff yeah. and then like you walk through it and you're like oh that was a letdown completely yeah. Dracula's is still going Gold yeah. Coast. Is that, that fucking themed restaurants are so good we mm. had one it's in Newcastle amazing. which was like the week because it's not really big enough to have and it was in this <laughs> weird spot and it was cl- I don't know what it was but it was um, that's someone who came home from holidays on the Gold Coast yeah, yeah. Like, I've got a it's like idea. a full on like I've grandma died left me a hundred grand and I'm a weird actor who's into yeah. vampires so I'm going to start Kevon's Theatre Kevon Kevon 
So it's just Kevin, but he's like, oh, come <laughs> on, actually. <laughs> yeah. I'm an actor. When you say with a, dark, with a prince, Romanian accent, it's come on, you know. Um, and they uh, were, um, yeah, it was like a whatever. It never went. But when lockout laws came in in Newcastle, which was pretty early on, I think it was the first city, um, you uh, bars had to, if you, if you didn't get in by one o'clock in the morning, you yeah. couldn't get in. That was the rule. And But restaurants were... Um, Exempt. So yeah. if you're a restaurant, you can still let people in. Like, but no restaurants opening at one a.m. <laughs> Except Kevon. Yeah. Kevin decided. You know what? I've got all these nightclubs and like you know big pubs nearby, and they would filter in, and people would like under the be like hush hush. Apparently, you can get into Kevon's if you knock on the back door and they let you in, and they'd sit you down. And the guy would be like, "All right, so what are you eating?" And be like, "What?" what? And he's like, "We got a pie. Do you want a pie?" So they'd pretend it was a restaurant yeah. to get around this rule, and then you just go, "You got your pie? You had your pie? All right. Was there anything else you want?" And you're like, yeah, ten more beers." You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? And then they did that on the sly, and, and then do a show. No, well, there was just all. It was after the show, and everyone there who was the actors would be around in the makeup and all that shit. So they'd just be prancing around. Yeah. So I was going to ask Heggy. Dracula, because I saw it yeah. during the research, and I was like, "Like, have you been in there?" Yeah. So, what is it? Like, it's, what's the what? What's the it's go? Exactly with it? what you fucking. It's a, just a themed restaurant. It's right. Fucking amazing. They do a show. It's terrible. And so, <laughs> what's and the, the show and involved? The food's all, it's people. Hooters style food, and it's yeah. just fucking grim. It's like four lanes across from uh, Jupiter's Casino. Right. So if you have a bit of a win there, you're like, fuck, I'm taking my chances here. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to run. <laughs> <laughs> Play Frogger. Yeah, and get yeah, over exactly. There. I'm on a roll here. Let's see if I not get hit by the fucking Yeah, car. it's just a fucking shit restaurant. With It's hilarious. Right. But it's a long just like, time since I've been. But only when it's a joke, obviously. But it was... Yeah. It was I've only been once. And it's just I like musical theatre, right? Yeah. I, would, I think yeah. I think Cameron James went like relatively recently when yeah. he was up there and he was I like, would go yeah, again. Ridiculous. But I've got to but have someone one. up there at the same time as me to go. Yeah, not going exactly. not going solo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ordering two the yeah. monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's, what's the nearest way to the ocean? Because <laughs> I know that Dracula's expanded. You also yeah, you also don't really want your wife ringing up while you're in there. No. Like it's not a stripper or something, you just don't want to think, Oh my Dracula. It's more embarrassing to live. Google Bucks. review. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just tell my wife I'm at the strippers. Because <laughs> that's the restaurant oh. surface, but there was also, and this closed down, I think, last year because of COVID, but there was a Dracula's offshoot, which was a haunted house right on Cavill Avenue, yeah, oh, which right. was kind oh. of like a Ripley's, but it was yeah, more okay. Dracula's. Just like mm. uh, carnival style haunted house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that, but I think it's just like you've got kids, you can't, unless you're Jerusalem, you can't take them to the strippers. You know? so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What do you do? You can't take them to the pub, you're in surfers, because you, you're probably going to SeaWorld or something, and you're yeah. like, where do we go for dinner? Mm. Hey, this is a yeah. family-friendly thing. Yeah, please. We, should, uh, we should probably talk about schoolies before we go, oh, because right. schoolies is the huge thing in Surfers Paradise. For those who don't know what schoolies is, it's basically end of the last year of school you go for a week and you let loose service paradise is like the biggest area to do it and it's full of violence drinking people trying to hook up mm. you said you didn't do schoolies in no surface? i went to i went to Stradbroke island because i was 17 yeah and there's no chance like even then 1991 you couldn't fucking get into pubs and stuff yeah right at schoolies week could every other week yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that week, like, yeah oh, well, no. that one they are very and i, I looked about vigilant. 12 i was fucking no chance so i went to australia but i had an opportunity to go back as a toolie but I, even on even at 18 i was like fuck i can't I'm, i can't go back I'm yeah, like, yeah. I've, only, I've never been to schoolies at surfers but I've, i think it's changed quite a lot with the rules and the expense yeah and stuff. i did it in 2004 and it's so funny like when you're 18 i was like this is the greatest week of my life and i don't yeah. think it will ever be topped never it has been multiple times over ever since. Yeah, like, I, I would place my wedding week. Or your week. subsequent Thule visits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would place <laughs> my wedding week above the time I went when I was 27 <laughs> and 26. Yeah. But, like, you know, like, it was uh, it was a lot of fun, but it was a lot of regulation when we went. Like, you had to wear your lanyard to get into, like, the... the <laughs> lanyard? Yeah, like a lanyard with, like, your ID card on it to oh, get fuck. into, like, hotels. Yeah. But, like, I lost mine on the second day. So, but, the, I mean, there's a way around everything, and it's buying a Seki Macca's. Like, once you bought a Seki, a crispy chicken burger, he was like, fucking, you can get in here every night and you can bring in anyone you want. Is that all it takes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Like, every night we'd just be like, you want more Maccas, mate? And he'd be like, fuck yeah. And you'd just go around and get it. Because, like, one of my mates was 17 at the time. So we didn't go to a lot of bars. We'd just, like, you know, because we had, like, a bun like 50 people from our school in this one, like, hotel building. So, yeah. you know, the pub's almost beside the point at that point when you can just drink at, like, a service department and then, you know, go 
between other ones and balconies where you see fucking those cunts balcony hopping. They've and closed stuff. the balconies mm. now, though, haven't they? Do they lock the balconies? I don't know. That, they well, didn't when I did. Once a year, someone, someone yeah. plummets one of, from one of, one of the balconies. Yeah. One of the most anxiety-inducing things I've ever seen being, like, five floors up and across from us, like, someone's just, like, climbed over the fence and is jumping between That's two balconies. One of my mates did it. Like, we had two apartments next to each other and we had that little balcony and they were fake running and chasing each other as a bit of a like wily coyote dumb joke. Yeah. They weren't mm. trying to kill each other, but they were running and my mate ran out and then jumped to the other one and went inside. And I was sitting there like, oh my uh, God, that's yeah. like nightmares. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know? Everyone in the building was cheering and I'm like, be safe. Yeah. <laughs> <Jesus> <laughs> like, Don't lose your land, you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, like my, uh, my brother's cat jumped off the balcony recently in Hong Kong. Oh, oh. Brown oh. bread. Oh, oh, big one. Oh, Lucky, very Kong. lucky not to kill someone. Very few yeah. three yeah. story Hong Kong. Oh, no. in Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Real high, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you see, I, yeah, sorry, you didn't want to bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought of that. I think brown bread safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that I, I was looking up uh, some schoolies stuff and I found an article called The Nineteen Craziest Moments of Schoolies and you kind of have to you kind of have to pass couldn't through round it out, could they? Yeah. They couldn't just fucking round it no. out. Yeah. <laughs> or up thinking one. You also more. just had to kind of like pass through multiple people just like hospitalizing other people and yeah. they're like, Oh what a crazy moment And yeah. it's like one guy like almost beat a guy to death. But I found like a couple of them and the this calls back to the uh, bad cops. A Queensland police service service was left red faced after one of its employees was arrested for possessing a knife at schoolies festival. The 17 year old trainee police clerk from Brisbane was arrested after police responded to calls of a brawl involving a number of youths, and he went there with a knife and got found yes, by his bosses, right. and then he got shit canned. And then here's one that I thought was interesting in 2008, probably like you know 10 years before like people were. I guess, like, you know, this is, like, I mean, 2019 now, schoolies, I'd imagine there's a lot of stuff about, like, be careful about, like, sexual harassment, drug and drinks and that sort of stuff. But in 2008, the Gold Coast Bulletin, one of the major newspapers, introduced something called the Pash Mat, which was a pullout of, in one of their things, and it said, like, Pash on it, and it was used... At, like its use was to be like modern day mistletoe, they called it. Yeah. So the promotional blurb says you stand on it instead of under it. It's called the Pash Mat and it's the perfect icebreaker for the start of Schoolies Festival. So free in today's weekend bulletin, the Pash Mat takes the awkwardness out of first kisses, allowing schoolies to laugh off their inhibitions and step up to first base. <laughs> this is in a paper. <laughs> like, people, so that year in 2008, I would have been 22, would have loved to have been a toolie that year. But, like, <laughs> oh, the people running around with little things being like, I'm standing on this, you go to kiss me, yeah. darling. Like, oh, that would have been. And if it's made out of newspaper, like, that's, it's going to last half a second on the ground before it's, like, soaked through, was right? It? No, it's, is it on the newspaper? No, or? no, it was a pull was out, like, mat. in the newspaper. So I think it was a proper, like, rubber mat. Okay. Don't you worry, Drew. Well, I was <laughs> well, trying to. I'm just concerned for these I was, tr four I was kids trying to see passions. if we could source one on eBay or something, but I couldn't find <laughs> it. Imagine living in the Gold Coast and you're like, pass the paper doll and it's like, give me a lift out. The tab, Joe, on the tab, the Pash mat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you'd be like, what is this fucking city come So, yeah, imagine living there and, like, waking up the next day and just Pash mats fucking all over the floor and oh, beach and oh. stuff. God. Be, God. It'd be, I mean, school age was pretty grubby. Like, we went down to like those beach parties a couple of times, and they, but they were also quite heavily regulated because it, they wouldn't let you drink on the beach, if I remember. So, like, everyone was like, all right, we'll, we'll figure out a way around this, go to our apartments on the beach, drink till we're about to pass out, then stumble down to the bush, like the beach party, and that's when we start fighting. Yeah, okay. much safer. Yeah. In 2015, here's one. A schoolie with a hairy bum let a friend set his buttocks on fire in a <laughs> harebrained stunt that ended painfully. The 17-year-old had been drinking when a mate began <laughs> singeing people's hair with a lighter and aerosol can. As his Doing rear end was fight. torched, he let out a piercing scream and required a trip to the schoolie's festival medical tent. <laughs> so someone lit his ass hair on so fire. So he was, he was just nude, minding yeah. his own business. Uh, That's a good yeah. got him and there was a little can. photo there, and he's just got this big red sunburn ass, but all you can see all the hair down to the like the little embers <laughs> Man, I used to be obsessed with the Rex and a lighter combo yeah. oh, yeah. fucking brilliant cool, wasp so. nest <laughs> <laughs> we always used to Spider, worry everyone would say the fire would go Suck into back the can in, yeah, and blow your hand off. I think that's bullshit I yeah. think it is too I think we asked our physics teacher once and they were like, no, nah, it's not going to happen. We're like, cool. Yeah, don't worry, lads. <laughs> 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 we're on Boys, here. we're all good. <laughs> uh, <sighs> but yeah, I mean, did you guys do surface schoolies at all? I did, yeah. We just, yeah, it was, a, it was just, we got so drunk. We had, Where year did you graduate? 
Yeah, it would have been. So we year. would have been there at the same time. Well, I don't know the same. A word. friendship could have blossomed. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> fucking ships just passing some guy in the from Newcastle bullying me. <laughs> we're just both in the line to get new lanyards. <laughs> just like <laughs> 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 standing on the patch pad accidentally, just like Jamie. Um, no, I went and all I did, I, we drank obviously all week. One of my idiot mates got a fucking tattoo the moment he mm. went got there. Oh, uh, God. Complete white. Anglo guy got a fucking like tribal tat. Oh, yes. Perfect. And just nothing to it. Literally went into the shop and was like that one. And then they're like, okay, cool. You got it. Like first day. Uh, now you can't drink for three days. And he's like, oh, fuck. So he's just sitting around not drinking for three days of this week while he's got this fucking glad wrap on his arm. <laughs> no, I would to stick it to the man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking rebel. <laughs> so he, we were like, you imbecile. And then we went to this all you can eat place. It was eight. I still remember it was $8.90 all you can eat. And we ate breakfast, lunch, and tea there every fucking day. I got food poisoning and then was back like two days later. <laughs> I'm like, you can't stop me, baby. This is great. We're just so fucking, like, that was just those shitty Chinese all you can eat with like whole fish that are this big. Yeah, like, that's yeah. nowhere that's yeah. not under the legal limit for that fish, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, we, yeah, we did that and like just, yeah, it was just drinking and just disappointing. A few fights, but nothing too crazy. I think we were pretty. pretty you win them? Talented. You win them? No. <laughs> we, uh, I got a black eye at one point. Uh, oh, yeah, a bit of a bit of a dust up. But um, yeah, one of my friends got addicted to the pokies there for the first time. Like played him for the first time and got addicted. Like, like he was <laughs> and like still like now he's lost ruined. I'm what? not friends with him anymore. But just I'm not sure. But he never played him before, and he put like five dollars in and pressed go, and it went like ding ding ding, and he won like you know, six dollars. And he was like, uh. and then he was like four hours later, he's still there. I'm like, <laughs> and we had to we actually took him and we said, come and you got to go to bed. Or whatever, and we went and we stood in the elevator, and as the doors are closing, he jumped out of the elevator, oh my ran God. back and kept playing them. And we're like, Jeez, "What is going on? on?" I don't know, just dumb idiot kids. Uh, uh, nice. And we should wrap this one up. We yeah. should. All We've right, so we we got two questions. One of them doesn't really apply, but look, if someone says to you, "Mate, I'm going down the surface paradise or the yeah. Gold Coast for a day, and I need some stuff to do morning, afternoon, and night," what do you tell them to do? Oh fuck! I mean, since who does this shut? Um, Grundy's is shut <laughs> Magic Mountain's gone um, Probably stop it I mean fuck You know Logan Hyperdome On the way down If you want a little stop over A little layover Yeah <laughs> Big shopping centre um, Fuck Stock now I, I don't know A couple of places Hipsters have moved in Yeah down the Gold I Coast. So. It's, it's weird Yeah Broad, broad Beach is but, all cool now Yeah it's a bit cool Down Nobby's and, and Miami And that's getting all hippie Hip, hipster, not hippie. Uh, now, fuck, man, I am a, a bit of a loss. Probably just Cavill Avenue drink. Dracula's definitely <laughs> yeah. mainstay. I you got to. I've always, I, I've never, don't I, wear a mask. That's yeah. probably... Oh, yeah. definitely yeah. don't wear a mask. Yeah. 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 Don't wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell people your vaccination status. Yeah. There's a fair <laughs> bit of that. Yeah. I think Dracula's would be great. And there's yeah, other go stuff to Dracula's. Go to Sea World and shit. Maybe like go that. to the Dog and Parrot on a Thursday night and yell at a comedian. Oh, yeah. 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 The dog that's the one thing you can fucking do. How good is that? That is, that is a... That is when people say, you know, oh, Queensland gigs, it's just the tab room and everyone yelling at you. It's like, that's a Dog and Parrot. Yeah. You're in the tab. You know, as I was like... You're just sitting there and you're writing your set list on a tab ticket, you know, a keynote <laughs> ticket. You're like, this is comedy. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm about to go and stand on stage with this guy's just going to scream yeah. at me. I There's a Cecil dude. at Southport too. I don't know if that's still going. Yeah. That there was a was. fight on the street while I was on. Like glass glass wall, like a big wind, like yeah. floor to ceiling windows, a fight right next to me pretty much <laughs> while I'm on. Of course they're not watching. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wasn't. Yeah. That's yeah. worse You're than not paying attention to your No set. way. <laughs> like that's even worse than the Hooters. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I'd rather, like, that's even more distracting as a fight. That's the only thing that would beat fucking topless waitress. I guess yeah. the this last question, oh, did you have something to say? No, no, uh, no. Okay, the last question would be, if, you, if you're planning a holiday with a family, is Surfers Paradise a destination <laughs> you'd go to? <laughs> Finally, man, when my wife moved to Australia, she thought Surface Paradise. It's a, it's a fucking cool name, it must be yeah, said. If you've never name. heard it before, you don't know this history of the place, you would think, oh, yeah, sick. <laughs> this yeah. would be like, you know, eternal sunsets. But no, I, I wouldn't take my family there. My brother lives at Miami and he hasn't been there in 10 years. And that is literally a 20 minute drive. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like he just wouldn't go there. Like, yeah. I've, I only go there for gigs yeah. and to check out the blood on the street. <laughs> 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 Always something. Oh, well, that was a lot of fun, so much, Luke. Man. Thanks for coming on. Oh, Do you have anything me. you want to plug? You have a podcast. You have a podcast, Mid Flight Brawl with Nick Cody. I'm going to the Gold Coast next. I don't know when this comes out. Probably on right on now. Monday, I think. Yeah, it like, comes uh, out on Monday. So you'll probably. Oh, like start of February. That's when it comes out. 
the next one yeah. around then. Yeah. yeah. Man, fucking come to the doggy pee Thursday night. Yeah. yeah. Get around you can yell it, at this very guy <laughs> yeah, if you want. Yeah. Offer to take Luke to Dracula's. <laughs> Get him back there. And that's in Rabina, right? Yeah, it's Dog in Rabina. What's yeah. your so your what's your run you're doing? Your doggy pee, you're doing I d I don't I haven't done it for like a year. So they, they tend to change a little bit. The, the Palm Beach Hotel's always good. That's a Sunday night yep, one. Yeah. Yeah. Doggy Pete, Nobby's Avenue on a Wednesday. Yeah, uh, so the they still Nobby's Ark. They're doing Avenue. the double. The I double. think so. Oh, that's great. And the others, I don't fucking know. Yeah. He's, he's built that up pretty well, though. Like oh, the gigs hats are off to Josh. I think that's like the way better than success the story of, of Australia. Because yeah. there was nothing, apparently. I didn't know this, but there was just no gigs or any in Gold Coast. And then all of a sudden, one guy and there's eight gigs. Mm. Seven mm. nights a week. It's mm. unbelievable. Gigs. Yeah, pretty good. So, yeah, and they are like genuinely like, they're always. They're always Joke about them, but they're good to go and watch. Oh, no, there's Palm Beach. Palm Beach one's good. good. Yeah, there's oh, one I called that one. Last Bar on Earth, something like that at Southport. That's a good one too. One, but That's on fairly new. And I think they're free for the audience, right? Yeah, they're free for the audience. They're all free, and they're yeah. just like always good comics, and and it's 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 either good comedy or pretty average comedy, but whatever. Or there's a fight outside, and that's pretty <laughs> yeah, cool too. You <laughs> it's know, a, it's gonna be entertaining. Something yeah, it's good for time. everyone. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Well, Luke, thanks for coming on. Thanks, man. Uh, we obviously you can rate us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and subscribe to us on all the social media. And if you like live comedy, uh, Luke and Alex and probably Drew will be at the return of Everly Comedy oh, yes. in February and oh, March. <laughs> same show, same audience Same members. rowdy same, crowd. Same five audience members. Tame members. that crowd down, James. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we get two we say, can you make the hang fun but the show bad? And we say, <laughs> boy, can we? Oh, and we'll man, see what we Last can time I was there, I was on, I looked out the window and there's Jack, Jack Wright's head. He's sitting, he's on a bike <laughs> on the windowsill just watching from outside. <laughs> The amount of people. Plenty of fucking seats inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's great when, because Jack comes like almost every week, and the yeah. amount of people who, like, comics who don't know Jack or audience members that don't know Jack, just are like, you'll see people like start whispering or a comedian get distracted, and it's Jack like leaning against with the bar, usually with a cigarette, and he's. We, I've been with him the whole time at the bar. Somehow he's managed to go to a bottle shop and get a fucking brown paper bag full of booze. So he's just out there like a hobo. And he's laughing, too. He's like, ah! It's like, it's like some comedians get really thrown. And it's much funnier that's to good. watch Jack out there. Oh, that's great. Oh, get well, around, Evelyn. What a fun podcast, Thanks, everybody. Yeah, everybody for See you next week. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Bye.